Chronicles 16:9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth. He's looking all around the earth. Why? He's looking for somebody that he can bless. Somebody in whose life he can show himself strong. He's looking for somebody who's loyal to him, fully committed to him, no matter what. He's looking to bless that person. Now that should be you and me. He's looking for us. There's a big apostasy coming down the road. It's almost here. Well, a lot of people are going to give up on God. The devil's been working hard to change the church. To take the life out of the church. To take the life out of the gospel. To water the gospel down. To adulterate the gospel with the thinking of the world. That's happening. It's been happening. And there's a day where it's finally going to, boom, it's going to bear fruit all at once. And a lot of Christians, churches, a lot of them are going to change completely. So the Lord's saying, be careful. I, he, he's saying, I encourage you. Keep on doing what you're doing. I see it. I won't forget you. I'll take care of you. I'm looking for people like you. That's what's happening. So I encourage you. Keep in church. Keep trusting God. Keep hope. Keep looking for a better future with God. With the Lord. I believe there's a revival coming too. God's not going to let there be a great mass exodus. An apostasia. Without doing something for those that will stay in there. And you look at, you look at history. You look at the Bible. And where evil abounded, grace did much more abound. God has something for the child of God. We know we have heaven, <laughs> but even on the way there, and I'm not promising money. I'm not promising stuff. I'm promising spiritual good. Yeah. If that means money with it, we'll take it. Yeah. If that means no money that the government will take our money, that's all right. They can take it. That's right. Because if I have to have the food uh, multiplied, my God knows how to do that. He showed me in the Bible. He told us his disciples what? Feed them. And they looked at one of the feet, feet, and said, Lord, there's 5,000 there, not counting the wife and kids. They said, no, feed them. And they said, oh, okay, bring, give, me some, give me some bread. So God will bless us. God will take care of us. He's looking. This is what he's looking for. He's looking for this kind of commitment toward him. And they said, don't worry about it. I'm watching. I'll take care of you. Keep on and keep on keeping on. If we can think that way, that takes all fear away. Yes. We don't care who's in the White House. Yes. We don't care who's running the government. Okay. We did our part. We voted. We prayed. But it wasn't God's will. Right. So that's okay. I'm not telling God what to do. I'm asking him to do things my way. But I'm not going to dictate. That's right. God said, I will take care of you no matter what. Just keep looking to me. Amen. Can you, can you believe that? I pray you believe that because yes. Yes. that's what God's looking for. Yes. Amen. Would you stand with me? And I'll dismiss with a word of prayer.